Hi, I'm Becca Wilson and I'm the chair of NUDIG, which is the Newcastle University Disability Interest Group. And we are the disabled staff and student EDI network on campus. So I thought I'd start by setting the scene and really the scale of the challenge that our network faces. So the DWP uh, has the number of work, the working age population with disability at around 19% of the population. The UK undergraduates across all universities in the UK, the disclosure rate is around 13% of undergraduates identify as being disabled. Within our own university, this is slightly under the, UK, the sector average at 10%. In terms of academic and teaching staff across all UK universities, around 4.1% disclose to their employer about a disability, whereas in our own university, this is significantly lower, with just 2.2% of academic and teaching staff uh, disclosing a disability. And all in all, this means that our numbers basically are very low in terms of the membership uh, of our network, because disable, as a disabled staff network or disabled staff and student network, we're in a similar position to where perhaps an LGBT community was around 30 or 40 years ago. People are not out about disability to their colleagues, let alone their employer. And there's a great stigma around disability pr pride. Disability and health, chronic health conditions are perceived to be a weakness uh, in our sector. And as a result, there's a lack of role models and mentors, people in leadership positions that can actually uh, drive and facilitate change in this area. Disabled students, particularly undergraduates, are a lot more happy to disclose this kind of information. And this perhaps could be the millennial effect that we're seeing. But the problem is, is that staff at our university are not representative of them. And so there must be this disconnect in expectations between staff and students. So the goals of the DIG uh, network are primarily to normalize disability in the workplace. And we're trying to achieve this through various communications channels. The first one being our website, which is uh, given here in the bottom right hand corner of the slides. We have a brand new website, blogs.ncl.ac.uk forward slash dig. And on here, there's information about how you can join the uh, EDI network mailing list, as well as find out information about the projects that we've been working on, such as the Inclusive Images project, as well as a map of some of the more accessible venues for uh, meetings and things that are close to the university. You can also find our Twitter handle and engage with, with us there as well. So on our website in the upcoming months, we'll be posting information about all our internal and external facing events that we're participating in. And we hope to use these communications channels to start growing the membership of our network, both across staff and students, undergraduates and postgraduate students. And the aim really is to attract disabled academics and also more people in management and leadership positions because we feel that those are the people that will be able to act as role models for the rest of the network. And as a result, we'll be able to gain a voice, um, which, will be, which will allow us to leverage change and equality at the university. And through this voice, we'll be able to advise not just our own university, but also feed into other universities and organizations in terms of their policy, policy and decision-making around disability issues. And together, we basically will be able to make um, and develop a disability inclusive culture that we can all work in within the education sector.